Morton's neuroma is a common condition that affects the ball of the foot, typically between the third and fourth toes. It's caused by the thickening of the tissue that surrounds the nerves leading to the toes. I'm Houston podiatrist, Dr. Andrew Schneider. I'm board certified with over 20 years of experience. A Morton's neuroma can result in symptoms such as pain, tingling, numbness, and burning sensations in the affected area. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the absolute best treatments for Morton's neuroma. But before I do, I wrote a book all about Morton's neuroma and the other causes of pain in the ball of your foot. I would like to send it to you for free. You can order it at www.balloffootbook.com. The link is in the description. Also, let others know about these videos. Please like, comment, hit the subscribe button, and share on social media. This will help others find this information. Morton's neuroma is typically caused by repetitive stress on the foot, such as wearing tight shoes or high heels. It can also be caused by certain foot deformities, such as flat feet or high arches. Women are more likely to develop the condition than men, and it's most commonly seen in people between the ages of 30 and 50. Symptoms of Morton's neuroma can include pain or discomfort in the ball of the foot, a burning sensation, tingling or numbness in the toes, and the sensation of having a feeling of fullness beneath the ball of the foot. Symptoms often worsen with activity and improve with rest. The first line of treatment for Morton's neuroma is often conservative measures. Resting the affected foot and avoiding activities that aggravate the condition can help to reduce pain and inflammation. Ice can also be applied to the foot to help to reduce swelling and discomfort. It's also helpful to wear the widest shoes you can that will still stay on your foot. Orthotics are another common treatment for Morton's neuroma. Orthotics are custom-designed shoe inserts that are designed to provide support and cushioning to the foot. This reduces stress on the area of the neuroma and prevents further damage. Physical therapy can also be recommended for patients with Morton's neuroma. Stretching exercises and other therapeutic techniques can help to strengthen the muscles and tendons of the foot. This improves flexibility and reduces tension. In addition to traditional treatments, there are also advanced treatments available for Morton's neuroma. Corticosteroid injections are one option that can provide relief from pain and inflammation. These injections work by reducing the inflammation in the affected area, which can help to alleviate the symptoms. Shockwave therapy is a non-invasive treatment option that uses mechanically produced sound waves to stimulate healing and reduce pain. During the procedure, a handheld device is used to deliver focused energy to the ball of the foot where the Morton's neuroma is located. Shockwave therapy works by increasing blood flow and promotes the growth of new blood vessels. This can help to reduce inflammation and promotes healing. Shockwave therapy has been shown to be an effective treatment option for Morton's neuroma with many patients experiencing significant reduction in pain and improved foot function. Shockwave therapy is a safe and non-invasive treatment option that can provide an alternative to more invasive treatments such as surgery. It's performed as an in-office procedure and requires no downtime after treatment, making it a, an attractive option for patients who want to avoid surgery or a lengthy recovery. In some cases, surgery may be necessary to treat Morton's neuroma. Surgery is usually only considered if other treatments have failed to provide relief or if the condition is severe. The most common surgery performed is a neuroma excision. Neuroma excision involves removing the affected nerve altogether. Recovery from surgery can take several weeks and patients will need to wear a surgical shoe during the recovery period. In addition to treatment options, there are also steps that you can take to prevent a Morton's neuroma from developing or worsening. Wearing shoes with plenty of room in the toe box, avoiding high heels, and wearing shoes with good arch support can all help to reduce the risk of developing a Morton's neuroma. Stretching exercises and foot massages can also be helpful in keeping the foot healthy and reducing the risk of injury. Morton's neuroma can be a painful and frustrating condition, but there are many effective treatment options available. 
Traditional treatments such as rest, ice, and orthotics can provide relief, while advanced treatments such as corticosteroid injections or shockwave therapy can offer even more benefits. In severe cases, surgery may be necessary as a last resort. At Tanglewood Foot Specialists, we specialize in the diagnosis and treatment of Morton's neuroma. Our team can help you find the right treatment plan for your individual needs, whether you require traditional treatments or more advanced options. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Please take a moment to like, comment, and share on social media. Be sure to hit subscribe so you won't miss another video. I wrote a book about Morton's neuroma and other causes of pain in the ball of the foot. I'm happy to send it to you for free at www.balloffootbook.com. The link is in the description. If you're experiencing the symptoms of Morton's neuroma, don't hesitate to schedule an appointment with us today. We'll work with you to develop a personalized treatment plan that addresses the underlying cause of your condition and help you get back to your daily activities. The link to request an appointment is also in the description. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.